Hello friends, and welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. This is the 10th episode of Season 3 of the Diamond Commander League. We play high power EDH with a few deck restrictions to keep things interesting. The only banned card in our league outside of the regular banned list is Thassa's Oracle. For episodes 10, 11, and 12, the restrictions are to play a commander from the Adventures in the Forgotten Realms set, have 10 Adventures in the Forgotten Realms cards in your deck, and to play with no sorceries in your deck. As always, these restrictions are more suggestions than hard fast rules. The players can choose not to use them. With that, let's check out our commanders and our deck goals for our games today. First, we have John M playing Dritstu Urden. John's goal is to play value creatures that synergize well with plus one plus one counters, using a big Dritz or other bruiser to close out the game. Change is not always growth, but growth is often rooted in change. His starting hand includes Findhorn Elves, Wildwood Scourge, Aura Mutation, Ashnod's Altar, Fabled Passage, Razor Verge Thicket, and a Snow-Covered Forest. Second, we have Jason playing Tiamat. Jason's deck doesn't hide what it is. All the best dragons, and they will burn you to the ground with the Chromatic, the Great, the Progenitor of Hell, the Embodiment of All Evil, Her Majesty the Queen, Tiamat, at the helm. His starting hand includes Sol Ring, Sarkin Unbroken, the Ur Dragon, Ugin the Spirit Dragon, Ketria Triome, Volcanic Island, and Windswept Heath. Third, we have Carlos playing Prosper Tomebound. Carlos's deck wants to impulse draw with Prosper and other sources until eventually casting rituals into tons of overlapping combos. A Tiefling Warlock might be cliche, but also shouldn't be underestimated. His starting hand includes Dothy Voidwalker, Dream Devourer, Hieratic Ritual, Grim Tutor, Hazaret's Monument, Lug Luxury Suite and a Swamp. Fourth, we have Bryce playing Sephiroth of the Hidden Ways. Bryce's deck is artifact and graveyard focused, using Sephiroth to get back combo pieces, using either an altar or station to close out with a combo. The Red Wizards of Thay get a bad rap. They just want to create a kingdom of undead. I mean, everyone needs their hobbies, right? His starting hand includes Demir Signet, La Shield Clockwork Scholar, Rhystic Study, Trinket Mage, Abyssin Angel of Hope, Esper Panorama, and a Plains. With that, Let's play some magic. Okay, draw for turn. We'll play Razor Verge Thicket as my land for turn. I'll cast Finhorn Elves. Pass. Raw. I'll play a Windswept Heath. We'll pay a life and crack it. Or Bayou. And then I will tap said Bayou, cast a Soul Ring. And I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. Play a Luxury Suite. Thanks for being my opponents. Pass turn. I'll join you in that Luxury Suite. Uh, sure. Play a planes, and then I'll pass turn. Draw for turn. Play Fabled Passage for turn. Tap and sack the passage for a basic land, and I will poke Jason for one. Why not? Okay, that's fine. And pass. Draw. I'm going to cast a Bloom Tender. Uh, play a Ketria Triome, and I'll pass. Alrighty, draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Swamp. I'm gonna play a Pyritic Ritual, and then I'll cast it into a Hazaret's Monument. And pass turn. Draw. Aeromorphic Expanse. Then I'll play an Esper Sentinel. Right now I'll pass turn. Draw for turn. I will play Temple of Plenty. That comes in tapped. Enters the battlefield. I'll scry one. Down on top, I will cast Ashnod's Altar. You gonna pay for Esper Sentinel? Oh, shoot. I am not. I am not. Draw card. Crap. Pass. <laughs> Draw. It will play a Volcanic Island. I will cast Sarkin Unbroken. And I will pay. I will tap my blue tender and pay. And then I'm going to use his minus two and make a 4-4 four, four red dragon with flying. And I'll pass the turn. Tap, draw a card. I'm going to put a red and a black in my pool. It's one black for a dark ritual. Or, yeah, because uh, Prosper costs one less. So, Or it's only for non-creatures, right? Yeah, so I'll pay on the first one. I will discard a card and then draw a card. Now I'm going to go get a forest. I'm going to discard a Grim Tutor. Draw a card. I will go to my end step. At the beginning of my end step, exile the top card of your library. And with that, I'll pass turn. Draw. As per Primera, the best thing right now I can do is ramp the Mayor Signet. Then I'm going to attack Jonathan because he's open right now for one. For one. Pass turn. I will draw for turn. Snow Covered Forest is my land for turn. Cast <coughs> Dritz Duerdum. There we go. 
All right, so I get a kitty, Something. and then I'll get to drawing. I will pass the turn. Draw. I'm going to cast Cloth, and I'm sorry about these names tonight. Unrivaled Ancient. Four for flying haste whenever he attacks. Add X mana, oh, any, any combination of colors, where oh. X is the total number of attacking creatures. Spend this mana only to cast spells. Until in a turn, I don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Go to combat. I'm going to swing eight, attacking with both dragons at John, because he attacked me earlier with one Fintorn Elves. You get your mana right now. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to add, so I'll do Wooberg, a black... A green, a blue. Post combat, I'm gonna plus one Sarkin, draw a card, and then I add one mana of any color to my mana pool, and I'll make that green. I'm gonna use all of it except for a green and black, cast my commander, Tiamat. And it enters the battlefield. If I cast it, I get to search my library for five dragon cards and not named Tiamat, as long as all five of them have different names. So I'm going to get all these. And then with my remaining mana. I think Jason's been playing too much CEDH. <laughs> Probably. But I am going to tap to pay the one for Esper Sentinel to cast Abrupt Decay. Targeting Ashnod's Altar. Go to discard. One will be Morophon. And the other one will be Ramos. And I'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play this swamp and get a treasure. I will... Play Dothy Avoid Walker, and then I'm going to play Grape Shot. Not paying the one. Trigger draw card. Grape Shot the uh, Bloom Tender and the Sentinel for one damage each. Ooh, I didn't realize. I thought this was just red creature. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and discard a card to draw a card when I play the Dothy Void Walker. Discard this Karu Mind Eater to draw this card. And... Oh, Bloom Tender and uh, whatchamacallit are exiled, aren't they? Well, they have a Void Counter, counter on them. Yeah, I will go to my end step, exile this mountain, pass the turn. Draw, give me removal, Rhystic Study, pass yeah. the turn. Draw for turn. I'll play a Plains for turn. Okay, let's move to combat. I'll swing at Jason. How much? Eight, seven. Yeah, I'll just take it. I'll throw Invigorating Surge onto no. Drist. <laughs> What's that do? Oh my goodness. It gives him a 1-1 counter, and then it doubles the amount of counters on him, so he just oh, basically okay. gets 2-2. Two, two. Oh, okay. I was 10 commander damage? 10 commander damage, yep. Trigger Rhystic uh, Study, though, are you going to pay? Uh, nope. All right, I will have to pass. Um, end of your turn, I'm going to tap the Exile Claw. Whoa, Bryce! I get a land, right? Uh, yep. That's it. I'm going to get my sparkly Forgotten Realms Plains. Draw <laughs> Blood Stained Mire is my land for turn. I'm going to go ahead and crack that, losing a life. And it will exile to Carlos's Merriment. Oh, yeah. And we're going to get... I think I am going to get a bad land. There we go. I'm going to plus one Sarkin. Draw a card and add a green mana to my mana pool. Six, seven, eight. And I'm going to cast Clouth's Will. You see, it's still with me, even though he's gone. Choose one. If you control a commander, which I do, as I cast the spell, I may choose both. I'm going to deal X damage to each creature without flying and destroy up to X target artifacts and or enchantments. Nice. Um, I'm, not paying. I'm not paying. So I can choose five things. So I'll choose uh, your monument, Carlos. Bryce, I'm going to pick your signet and your study. And is that all your artifacts and enchantments that you guys have? Please no so. one else has anything? Okay, sweet. No treasure tokens. And you did damage to all creatures? Each creature without flying. Well, I was going to do it for three and have mana left up to do stuff. And then, no, I've got to make my Drizzt a 5-5. Five five. And uh, I'm going to swing at John for seven commander damage. Okay. And I will pass the turn seven cards in hand. Draw a card. Play an exotic orchard. Play a talisman of indulgence. Play a... Uh... Devour. I have a red floating. It says each non-land card in my hand is for Tell. For Tell is equal to its mana cost equal to reduced by two. Hard cast Ragavan. I will pass turn. Draw. Draw. I'll play Vault of Whisper. And I'll tap Esper Vault. Esper Panorama and Vault of Whispers to play an Ornithopter of Paradise. And then I will pass turn. We'll draw for turn. We'll do Altar of Dementia. Play the Wildwood Scourge. That comes in with two 1-1 one, one counters on it. Are you done? I am done. Draw. Cast Bladewing the Risen. Another 7 mana 4-4. Four, 4. four. 
I'm going to counter target spell. Blade wing is countered. Goes to my graveyard, right? Yep. Plus one, Sarkin. Draw a card. And then I will add a blue mana to my mana pool. I will play a Taiga. Yeah, go to combat. Lose that mana. Attack John for seven in the air with Tiamat. Yep, yeah, I'll take yeah. it. And I will pass the turn. Card. Bryce, I'll take, <laughs> it for, I'll take it for two. First time you use Ragavan, so he does common damage to a player, create a treasure token, and exile the top card of that player's library. I can play it till the end of turn, or cast it till the end of turn. It's up. <laughs> oh, Whoa! Whoa. Never mind! Dude. The easier oh. option. It's a combo! It gives him seven life, though. Okay, okay, Bryce can take two. I'll back my treasure, and... He can use the orchard if you want to. Oh, yeah, no. you're right, though, John. I will use Exotic Orchard. Tiamat, down. Seven oh, life. Okay, so I'm actually exiling two, and I will have no cards in hand. Well, Pass turn. Draw. I'll have Clearwater Pathway enter as a land, but on the swap side. So it's our Merc Water Pathway. Play Trinket Mage and go get a Soul Ring. Then I will play said Soul Ring. Tap Soul Ring in the planes to play Lashir's Cloak Scholar. Prevents all combat damage that would be dealt to attacking artifact creatures I control. That's cool. And whenever one or more artifact creatures enter the battlefield under my control, I draw a card. This only triggers once a turn. I will pass turn. I will draw off a turn. I'm kind of up against the wall, so I will play Karmic Guide. All right, I'll pass. Draw. It turn late. Yeah. Cavernous soul on Ooh. dragon, Bryce. Let's well, plus one Sarkin. So draw, and then I'm going to I'm going to add a green mana to my mana pool. Use that green and one, and cast Steely Resolve. As Steely Resolve enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Dragon creatures of the chosen type can't be the target of spells or abilities. It's global though, so yeah, I'm helping you guys. Would you believe it? I don't have enough mana. Six, seven, eight. I'm going to cast Ugin, the Spirit Dragon. I'm going to minus two. So yeah, we're going to minus three Ugin. A Trinket Mage and Lashiel, and that's Exile. Yep. In response, I will sacrifice the Scourge to the Altar of Dementia. Yeah, I'll mill me. Let's mill me. Are you done? And I'm done. Draw a card. Mountain. And Earthless. Um, I'll just cast Prosper for six. Assuming he's good, I'll go to my end step. In response, I'm just going to go get a planes. Now now you can go to your end step. I got it. I will exile this mountain. Wow, Prosper really likes his lands. And then that's the end of his turn, so goes to mine. I feel like even though yeah. Prosper is spelled correctly, you should erase the E just for continuity. Okay, draw. <laughs> <laughs> they land for turn. So two colorless, three white, and I need three more. Avacyn, Angel of Hope. And then I will pass turn. Upkeep, I will pay the echo cost for Karmic Guide. Pro Black, what? <laughs> then I will draw for turn. I drew a land, snow covered forest. All right. Swing out for two. Let's hit Sarkin, please. Okay, go into four. Pass turn. <laughs> draw. Forest yeah. for turn. Plus one Sarkin, draw. We're going to add, say, red. Three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll cast uh, Overloaded Cyclonic Rift. These three, Volcanic Island making a blue. And I'm going to cast Rhystic Study. Who can? I will plus two hitting John for three to the face. And I will pass my turn. Uh, I'll cast Prosper, play my land from exile, and make a treasure. I'll cast Talisman of Indulgence. Pass the turn. So I will draw. See, I made a mistake too. If I would have played Talisman first, then I could have paid. Okay, I'll go to my end step. Now this uh, Profane Tutor. Pass turn. Draw. Island for Soul Ring. Would you like to pay one? Yeah, I'll pay one. You will pay the one. And I'll pay one to play an Orzhov Signet. Well, that's like tap three, not paying the one. Tribute Mage. We'll get an artifact with converted mana cost two or Wait. less. Grinding Station is what I will get. Are you done, Bryce? Yeah, I'll be done. All right, I'll untap and then I will draw for turn. I will cast Aura Mutation and target. Should like to pay the one? Rhystic Study. No, I'll be a jerk and I'll pay the one. <laughs> no, Rhystic Study down. Get three Sapperlings from that. That's sweet. Okay, I will pay two to cast Arcane Signet. Tap what remains to cast Ulcer of Dementia and pass. Draw. 
play a swamp as my land for turn. First things first, it's plus one Sarkin. Draw a card. Yeah, baby. Oh, we're gonna get white, white, white. Use that white mana and a green mana and cast Hunting Grounds. If you have Threshold, when our opponents cast a spell, I can put a creature card from my hand onto the battlefield. That's Tribute Mage, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot it with Ugin. Just uh, hit it for three points. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll cast Terror of the Peaks. Spells you cast that target him cost an additional three life to cast. And then whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, it deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. And then tap a green mana and cast the Noblest of Hierarchs. I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, and draw. I'll play a mountain and for turn. Yeah, I'm attacking Ugin for one death touch. <gasps> no blocks. Ugin going to seven. I cast Revel and Riches for the okay. I'm going to put the Ur Dragon into play. I'm going to deal 10 damage to John's face. And I get another treasure. Last turn. Draw. Sorry, oh, I, I have to do this. Oh, you exile? Vampiric Tutor. And then a black and a colorless. So I need to pay three more for Avacyn, Angel of Hope. Uh, Hunting Grounds trigger. I'm going to put in Scourge of the Throne. John, you're going to take five damage to the face. Okay. Okay, pass turn. Raw, I will cast the Scion of Draco. He only costs two mana because I control all basic land types. Each creature I control it has Vigilance if it's white, Hexproof if blue, Lifelink if black, First Strike if red, and Trample if green. And I will deal four damage to Bryce's face. Actually, yeah, I didn't even have to pay two mana. I forgot Ur-Dragon's ability. So I have a colorless floating. Then I will plus one Sarkin, draw a card, and I will add a red mana to my mana pool. That's a red three, five, and then he makes it cost one less for six. And I'll cast Inferno of the Star Mounts. <laughs> he has haste. He's going to deal six damage to your face price from Terror of the Freaks trigger. Land for turn. Crack it. Paying a life. And... We'll get Plateau. He'll have Don't. Lethal, I think. On you. You can that's, kill one of us. That's the idea. Is two attack phases. Correct. I know. Go to combat. These dragons are coming at you. Or dragon trigger. Whenever one or more dragons draw that many attack, draw that many cards, and it put a permanent. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, dethrone trigger. He gets plus one, plus one counter because Carlos has the most life. Draw five cards. We got to put a permanent card from my hand onto the battlefield. Put out a Dragon Tempest. So damage, 31. Did I count that right? I am going to pump up my dragon, this one, four times. So he has a 10 power. This is 10, 20, 30, 40. Five. Coming at you in the air, Carlos. Five. And then Trigger Scourge. But I've got a couple other things I need to resolve. Life Link from my Black Dragons, which is just him. So I gain 10 life. And all of them untap. And there is additional combat after this phase. And we're going to send... We'll send Terror the Peaks at Carlos. And then everything else at you, Bryce. Couple of triggers first, or dragon trigger, so I get to draw five and put a permanent in it into play. It's gonna be a command tower. Okay. And so coming at you, Carlos, is five damage. Coming at you, Bryce, uh, 10 10, 10 6 first strike, 4 4, and a 6 6. I wanna block the 10 6. Perfect. First strike damage, you'll take uh, you'll take 20. And then um, no trample. Yeah, no, he does not have trample. So you'll just take 20 damage here. I'm gonna plus two Ugin. Um, Shoot you for three, Bryce. I'm gonna get cast Sarkin's Triumph and get a dragon that has a power greater than five. Oh, there's one. Emerith. And I can't cast him, but I will pass the turn. And if you cast a spell, I can put him out and kill you. Evolving Wilds. This is the card I drew after I searched for Grinding Station. I got Blasting Station. That's sad. On my draw. So then you kill me. Yeah, I'll cast. Uh, I'll cheat in Emerith and it will hit you for five plus. X, where X is the number of damages uh, dragons I control. Is there anything more EDH than a horde of chromatic dragons destroying you with combat damage? I submit no. For game two, Carlos's starting hand includes Mox Tantalite, Reanimate, Grim Tutor, Sire of Insanity, Blight Step Pathway, Sulphurous Springs, and a Mountain. John's starting hand includes Lanawar Elves, Beast Within, Teferi's Protection, Dryad Arbor, Lotus Field, Orin Reef the Vastwood, and a Snow-Covered Forest. 
Jason starting Hanaklid's Exploration, Steely Resolve, Chromatic Lantern, Terror of the Peaks, Ugin the Spirit Dragon, Mana Confluence, and Savannah. Bryce is starting Hand Includes Arcane Signet, Grinding Station, Zulaport Cutthroat, Rhystic Study, Avacyn Angel of Hope, Razor Tide Bridge, and an Island. With that, let's jump into game two. Draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Mox Tantalite. Oh, I'm gonna suspend it. Three counters. First time I've been able to play this card in the deck and sort of feel okay about it. Play a Sulphur Springs as land for turn and pass the turn. Um, I will draw for turn before Jason. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Horan Reef, the vast wood. Capped and pass. Draw. And let's go. Uh, Savannah. Exploration. Mana Confluence. Hit myself for one. Cast a Bird's Paradise. And pass. Draw, then I'll play. Razor Tide Bridge. It's an artifact. Pass turn. So we'll go down to two. Hard. Play a Mountain. Play a ruby medallion. Pass turn. Draw for turn. I'll play a snow covered forest as my land for turn. Let's cast Lanawar Elves. And then we'll give them a 1 1 counter because reasons. Pass turn. Draw. And I'm going to cast Chromatic Lantern. And I'll play a Marsh Flats for turn. I'm going to tap it for green because Chromatic Lantern does that. And I'm going to cast a Steely Resolve, choosing dragons. And I will pass. Draw island to an arcane signet. Pass turn. Tap a card. Light step. Way a three. Cast prosper. End step. I'll exile this card. Arrow mind eater. And pass the turn. Draw for turn. Okay, I will play dryad arbor for turn. And why not? We'll give the arbor a one one counter as well. Cause sure. Let's throw two at Jason. I'm good. I will pass. I will take it. Thirty six. Draw, tapping all these things for red mana, and I will cast a Terror of the Peaks, and I'll pass my turn. End of your turn, one of them Parrot Tutor. Hey, this one's gonna go on top. Draw, play a Goldmire Bridge tap at these three for Rhystic Study. Pass turn. Yeah, upkeep, get uh, Tantalite, I don't pay the one. Treasure, rock for turn. Okay, I'm gonna cast a Mana Geyser for four. Are you gonna pay for Rhystic Study? No, I'm not gonna pay for any. Four for Mana Geyser, get seven red. I will cast a Haggle. I will discard a card. Discard Grim Tutor. Why not play it? Three mana is sort of a lot. Yeah, so that goes into exile. And then I draw a card. Yeah, I'm going to cast Hazaret's Monument. Okay, trigger, draw a card. Cast the Merchant of the Veil for one, because he costs two less. Trigger, draw a card. Oh, I knew I had one more thing. Whenever I cast a creature spell, I may discard a card if I do draw a card. Sorry, I knew there was one more thing. Discarding Sire of Insanity. Drawing a card. Oh. Sack of treasure. Cast black and cast reanimate on Sire of Insanity. Why well, he doesn't oh. care. Trigger draw a card. <laughs> That's why I didn't care if he got cards. Yeah. Sire of Insanity will come into play. You lose, lose six. six life. Yeah. Then I will use my last two mana. I will go to my end step. End step. Each player discards his hand. So trigger Prosper. I discard Professor Onyx and Underworld Breach. This card is stays exiled, I believe now. This card will be Prospered. Uh, Urborg Tomb of Agma. It's your turn. <laughs> Top deck for turn. Top deck for turn. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll tap that for green. I'll throw Steve out there. I am done. Untap. Top deck. Did you even pay for Rhystic Study? No. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> okay, it gets discarded. Or Zav Signet. I'm going to... So I'm going to crack my Marsh Flats and get a... a... A what? Take a damage. Oh, yes. Thank you. Worst vampiric tutor ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to get a uh, Zagoth Triome. I'll enter the battlefield tapped. And uh, I'm going to cast Sarkin's Triumph. Search my library for a dragon card. Um, not paying for Rhystic Study. I get to reveal it, put it into my hand, and then shuffle my library. Just get one so that you want to reanimate, you know? Evan Death. We've got a combat. This is in my hand. Here are the peaks is Zach and Carlos. Sure. Five. And I will pass the turn. Keep it to draw. I will play Seat of the Cyanot, Blue, White, Black, and play Sephiroth. And pass turn. Draw. I'll play uh, Urborg, so all lands are swamps. Get another treasure. Um, Jason, I'll take you for eight. Nope, I won't block. I will go to Math is Hard 28. 27. I'll also sack the Elder for a tapped land. Play uh, Runaway Steamkin. I'll play the one. 
Um, and then I will end my turn and I'll prosper with Treasure Vault. It's a turn. Draw off a turn. Throw planes. Then we'll play Dritz. And we'll throw Guinevere. Kitty. <laughs> and then we'll give them a 1 1 counter each. I'm tapped out, so I will pass. Pay for Ristic Study? No. I did, I did not. Draws familiar. We'll do Tomb of Annihilation. Each of us lose a life. Draw. Play a Triumph for turn. Correct. Trigger Ristic Study? I will not pay. And I'll attack Terror of the Peaks at Bryce. Five, right? Yep, five. And then I will pass. Draw. I'm going to play Thriving Isle. And I will name... I'm going to put a P for planes. <laughs> or white. Then I'm going to swing Sephiris at Jason. Two points of command damage. Then I will pass turn. Tap card. I'll play Prosper again. Hope four still. Get paper is six study. I won't pay, actually. Draw a card. I wonder if you cast a red spell if it was... Counters on it, put a 1 1 counter. I also trigger Azeroth's Monument, discard Chain of Smog. I will play Treasure Vault as land turn. Alright, I will attack Jason for 10. Take it. Go to 14. End my turn, discarding a. End of your turn, I will path to exile Sire of Insanity. He means Swords to Plowshares, but yeah. Yep, Swords to Plowshares, yeah, that's what I meant. Are you gonna let it trigger before it triggers? Yep, trigger on the stack, I'm gonna. Okay. Swords. Get my life back that I lost from it. Yep. I'll discard a Prismatic Vista. I will prosper a Captain Storm. Draw for turn. Lightning Greaves. Get a paper Ristic. Yeah, I'll pay for it. Let's see, equip the Greaves to Dritzt. I'll move to combat. Dritzt will go at Carlos. Guinevere will go at Jason. And then these two will go at Bryce. Okay, Welcome Jason, back. you do blocks first. No blocks. I already took the floor. I don't oh. have anything to block. Blocks. And how big is uh, Dritz? He's a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, Alpha Strike right here. You have only one green open? Giant one green growth. open. And I played my only card for the turn. Oh, so. okay. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll take uh, 8. I will pass. Raw. I'll cast <laughs> Pernicious Deed. Oh. Gonna pay for Ristic? I will not pay for Ristic. Thank you. Draw card. And I will pass the turn. Draw. Swamp. Hey, John, you're open, so I'm gonna attack you for 2. I'll take two. And I'll pass turn. I'll draw for turn. I'll still pay the mana though. Because I feel like I'm going to lose all my stuff to Furnish this Deed right now. But so at least I have a Lannery. Okay, I'm just going to do it. Six. Cast. Six Mastery Overload. You going to pay for a Ristic Study? Six Mastery Resolves. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, what does Mizzix Mastery do? I don't remember. I exile a target card that's in an instant or sorcery card from my graveyard. For each card exiled this way, copy it, and you may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. Overload, you may cast this spell for its overload cost. If you do, change its text by replacing all instances of target with each. So I have four instants and sorceries. I will first cast Mana Geyser. Pay the one with a treasure. And then I'll get a treasure because I'm casting it from exile with Prosper. That is my third. Because um, I believe with Mizzix's Mastery, I have to cast them all right now. I yeah, guess if one of them has an instant, well, I mean, I'll go look. I'll play Grim Tutor next. So I got this card into hand. I will cast Reanimate on Avacyn. So you're going to pay Ristic Study on that? Uh, yes. All right. So here's the goal is I cast Grinning Ingus. And he only costs one. Now, so when I return him to my hand for one red, I get red and three colorless. And then I can cast him and netting uh, two mana each time because of the riddlers. And now that I have infinite mana, I'll end up with him in my hand at the, at the end. And I have infinite storm. Now I'll discard it to draw in and draw and discard till I get grape shot. And then kill us both. Okay. I feel like we've been having a lot of hate on the Adventures in the Forgotten Realm set. Maybe it's because we just had Modern Horizons 2, which was awesome. However, for a Magic the Gathering and D&D &D nerd like myself, this is an amazing set. On top of all that, we have some new, super unique commanders that we've never had anything like before. So give it a shot. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Here at the end of the episode, as always, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're looking for ways to support us, you can smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, 
You can also check out our merch over at kingdoms.tv slash merch. We have t-shirts, we have play mats, we have dice, we have some new tokens that should be out by now. Last of all, you can come join us over on Patreon where you get access to our full Discord. We have game nights and a lot of other cool things. We'd love to have you. Either way, thanks so much for being here and keep it nerdy.